my favorite night of the week. We are back on a Friday. I love when we do this show on a Friday night, right? <laughs> like it's Friday night, the week is done. We get our get to get together and hang out and do what we love to do, yes. drink and have look courses. Yep. And it's it's like you're not Sunday night trying to jam it in and get done before Monday morning comes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a, it's like the introduction to the weekend. I, and I have a, it is. I have a tea time tomorrow morning. This is like Good the per, perfect primer for that. Are you golfing this weekend? I am not golfing this weekend. I will actually be uh, flying out Monday morning for a work trip. Uh, sorry, I'm flying out Sunday morning for a work trip. I'm going in a day early to Austin to go see my uh, my family lives there. So I'm going to go in uh, a day or two early and spend with them. So no golf this weekend for me. All right. All right. I am. Uh, I'm headed out on a golf trip next week. Nice. So where are you going? Anywhere fun? Uh, we're going to Wilmington, Virginia. I, okay. Um, shoot, I did have the list of courses. I don't recognize any. I'm sure other people recognize the names, but I, I, apparently that's a popular place to go golfing. Wilmington. Yeah, it is. There's some great stuff there. Send me, uh, send me that list. I want to see the courses you're yeah, playing. I'll definitely send you the list. I know we had. We're, there's 12 of us going. Oh, and, a big group. Yeah. Yeah. And so we do like a Ryder Cup thing where we have two yeah, captains yeah. and they pick their teams and we have a lot well, of like handicap that. set up. And now the if today, like the teams were picked yesterday. And so the trash talking started today, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. How much, how much the entry fee to get into the uh, Master Blaster Cup? A <laughs> hundred bucks. hundred bucks. That's no, not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. So, and, and I was, I have to say I was drafted first. The reason huh? being is because I, I am, I'm a new golfer. I'm constantly improving. And yep. the history of this, I've gone, this is my third time I've gone on this trip. I've yet to lose a head to head match on this trip. There you go. So apparently I hey, got you're, some mojo. You're a good pick. I like that. Yeah. yeah I I'm, like that. I'm feared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, behind the bar. So I'm, I'm going to keep it simple tonight since I do have my early tea time tomorrow. Uh, yeah, what I, you're out, how early are you out tomorrow? So I'm 8:30, but it's oh, at, not bad. it's okay. at the Country Club, the Hershey Country Club, and yep. um, so uh, uh, we're gonna get there. They have a, a nice range. Usually we get there and have like a mimosa or a bloody berry, oh, yeah. <laughs> then, yeah. uh, then hit. Them. So I'm just having a, a straight up little light looking IPA. Looks like a pill. IPA. Oh, IPA. Okay, yeah, a little it's pills actually IPA. IPA. It does look like a pilsner though. It was really light looking, it but does. It's, it's pretty hoppy. Um, okay, so, good. So I'm keeping it simple. Nothing too crazy. I'm not hitting the sauce too hard. How about you? What you doing? Uh, I I have something, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna hold off a little bit just for a bit on my cocktail because my drink tonight marries very well with my golf story, uh, which is coming up next. And okay. so I'm gonna hold off on my and we'll get, when we get to that, then we'll, we'll go into it. Well, you or know, I can go in. You know, it's or next, I can go right? into. I think I do know it's next. Golf story. There's golf story. So why don't I go golf story first? Because then I can pick up from the bar, what's behind the bar. So um, I had a very wonderfully interesting week this past week. So, you know, Monday was a Labor Day. Uh, Labor Day. Work was closed, obviously. And I... Um, I was reached out to on Discord by, uh, and you know him well, most of you know him well, he watches the show, great guy, uh, PS Golfer. Okay. And John, and John, PS Golfer, apparently does some, my understanding is one, he is like the, one of the original sim golfers. Like he told me he's been golfing for like, like odd 12 or 15 years or so, sim golfing. Sim golf. And uh, yeah, sim golfing for a so long he time. He started on the shot. He, I don't know, even, I, you know what? I, I used to have this thing as a kid, by the way, and it was a, it was a golf shaft that was about three feet long, and on the end it had this plastic thing with a light on it, and it had a pad on the ground. You'd swing it over the light over the ground. It would go to your TV. It was like a sim type thing, but it was like forever. So I don't know if he was playing that or not. But so I wonder so what anyway, the, the official definition of what the first sim golf really was. Right? I don't know. That's because technically what is that's the very sim first. Right. That's sim golf. It was like it was playing golf by swinging on a TV. Um, but he apparently does a fair amount of travel with work and he hooks up with various folks from the SGT Discord. And you, plays. You, that's perfect because you could probably find somebody somewhere yes. on Discord, right? So he, he's, 
he had a he had a uh, a trip at one point out to Atlanta and he played with Tech Bud and then he played with uh, Stinger Iyer <laughs> and uh, uh, so he's played with a bunch of guys before. So anyway, he pinged me and said, "Hey, I'm going to be in town for this conference, and do you want to get together and play?" And I'm like, "I would love to. That'd be great." So then he we pull in another SGT guy. His uh, name in in the Discord is CO Golfer Matt. Yeah. Um, so he does a lot of, he actually does a lot of unicorn sales as well. Great guy. And so PS golfer and, and CO golfer and myself on Tuesday went and played bear dance mm-hmm. and on way, yeah, and I went and I got a lot of pictures and got, you know, nice. I'm not going to redo it. Cause it turned out, I mean, it played so nice to play a course in real life and be like, wow, this actually plays a lot so much like the real thing right 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 right. um and then we went the next day on wednesday and played a course i'm actually going to start working on soon uh green valley ranch and um wonderful we had so much fun uh, you know 36 holes of those guys and um so shout out to those guys for one being just amazing people uh ps golfer and and co golfer are both great guys we had a wonderful time played great golf they're good golfers so it's a lot of fun to play with them if they ever come knocking on your door go play they're great and um ps golfer heard me talking about we were we, i think he and i were chatting or maybe you and i were t- chatting on one of our shows about tees flying everywhere in the sim yeah, yeah. so he actually <laughs> brought me a it's, a it's a weighted thing that you attach to your tee to keep it flying around and stuff so he gave me that and co golfer brought oh. me I was waiting bottle. to see when the story came in the play. Here. Yes. So this is from a Colorado Springs distillery um, called Distillery 291. I'm still researching the history of the distillery and why they're called 291. I don't know if it's the road they're on or the story behind it. I'm sorry to look at the story code. behind it. <laughs> but uh, it is it's globally acclaimed. It's in the shadow of Pikes Peak. I'm just looking through their website and stuff. So he brought me a bottle of their bourbon their whiskey and their bourbon and that is what i'm drinking tonight so um that's my tie-in between my bourbon story and this story all right so what's what's the verdict here um it is pretty darn good all right it has got a yeah it's got a really it's a strong flavor it's not like a it's, it's a strong but not a biting like first couple of sips and i'm only you know part way through my first glass so far but first couple sips is not, you know, sometimes you can get a whiskey or a bourbon and like your first bite and it's like, oh, you can, oh yeah. it burns going down. It's really, really, really smooth going down, really good taste, really oaky. You really taste the oak um, from the barrels in it. And um, first impression is very positive on this one. So um, it's pretty good. Nice. Um, yep. Great story. I mean, that's, that's, that's a fun. great tie in there yeah. oh it was so, so much fun to play with guys and here's the fun thing i mean just real quick we played 36 holes and i think we spent as much time talking real golf as sim golf <laughs> <laughs> like we, it was like when we were playing bear dance it was like you know like ps golf was like hey this is just like you know and then and he actually played the courses like he played arrowhead when he was out here he played you know played a bunch of courses that and he played him in the sim before he left then he came out here and he played him in real life. And uh, so it was a ton of fun. We talked as much SGT and sim golf as we did regular golf. It was awesome. Were you guys like, oh, I hit that shot. It felt like deep rough, but it really wasn't. <laughs> we, <laughs> we're like, we those feature requests, we need variable rough because that rough was really deep and that rough was not so deep. Uh, the guy at Green Valley Ranch, three of us got paired up with a, with a member there. And I explained to him how we all met, and he was blown. He's like, "Wait, this is the this is the first time y'all have actually ever met each other?" Like, yeah, we kind of know each other, but it's the first time we've actually in met real life. In, in real life. In real life, yeah. And he didn't really. Um, he thought it was really cool. It Just, was pretty. Did fun. you tell him you met them all on Tinder? <laughs> I did. I said I, I met them all on Jade Eight. Yeah. <laughs> so my yep. golf story is quite quite different, which is yeah. We're prepping for indoor league, if you can believe it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so I sent out the new rules this week. We made some changes to the league this year. I'm the commissioner of the indoor league because I own the simulator. So, uh, got it. This year, we're going to be doing we do head to head stable thirds where every week you play a different person in the league. There's 12 people in the league, the same guys that I'm traveling with. We all play in the indoor league together. So, every week, there are eight guys play. There's we play nine holes at six o'clock, and then the other guys play nine holes at eight o'clock, and four guys are on a bye. 
but okay. then you you go head to head stable for it against each other different guys every week and then we keep a record you get three points for a win one point for a tie zero points for a loss got it and then what we're doing this year at the end of the regular season we'll have payouts for first second and third but if there's a tie for the number of yep. points which i'm sure there will be we have 12 guys there's going to be a couple ties yeah we're going to have a pressure where you're going to have a matchup to a tie break where you have three holes i'll pick the course three holes of stroke play and then if you're yeah. still tied after three holes sudden death right i like that and then after that that will determine the order of the regular season finish we'll have first through 12th the first four guys at the end of the regular season get a bye for a tournament style single elimination tournament at the end of the year where we'll have another we'll have a champion do and i know you said there that you got the sim do the guys actually come to your house and you yes. all do this in person but just on the sim yes. versus if one of them gets their own sim can they just dial it in from their own house if they want to do they could but none of them do there's one guy who has an r10 but yeah um and we do we actually do we love we're probably the only people that use it we do auto putt random we love okay it. Like, okay it's it's great i i think i mean we still all putt better on auto putt random but it's it's great when guys are like get close and they get three putted because it's to us that's like real golf like it's like real golf you three putted like from a foot yeah oops yeah yep so yep. um, Nellie Corda did that recently. She she had a, a one footer she missed that made the second one and lost the tournament by one stroke. So yeah. that happens. So like you do you do two putt from those spots and, and, and yep. three putt from you know ten feet. So for sure we'll, we'll see. So it'll be interesting once we get closer. So that starts November. I'm already like eyeing up some of the courses that are coming out now to, to start lining those up in the weeks out. So when once we start doing the show in November, I'll have, definitely have to say, hey, we're you know playing this course this week and um, yep. Yeah, you know, do that. Sounds, sounds good. That sounds like fun. All right, my friend. I love it. So here we go into uh, on into to business. the reason for our show. Yeah. yeah, which is you know we only have three courses this week, and you know I I I wonder. I'm just curious. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I, I wonder. Like I wonder if um, either there's low submissions going in, or if they're just a little slow. I think they'd be a little slow because. I submitted an update to Sanctuary yesterday morning, and yesterday afternoon I submitted an update to Metalist, and um, neither have been published. And they're usually faster than that, so I wonder if someone's on vacation. It could be that, or honestly, I feel like the courses lag behind our views by about two months. And what I mean by that is, so our, our views, if I look at the YouTube channel that we host, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. between two biomes, there's this show, and then there's also the tutorials. Yep. The tutorials, and I can kind of track them, they hit a, a low back in uh, July. Okay. Yep. yep. They hit yep. a high back in January. When did yep. we have the most courses released? I felt like it was in March. Probably in March, yeah, I would say so like February, March. All April. those guys that started building in like January released in March. No one was really building in in July. June, July. So, the, so now I yeah. feel we're like we are in the bottom of the law for new courses. Now I think is compounded that is the fact that maybe someone is on vacation this week and and didn't release courses. Um, yeah, maybe. But I so I think things are going to start picking up slowly. So. Yeah, I, I I think we've always en envisioned we would be slower in the summer and busier in the winter. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. and I think I think we're just seeing that come to come to fruition. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we do have three courses this week. So we have a uh, pheasant run by KSU Cat. I think he has done a couple courses. Um, <laughs> this one's in O'Fall. <laughs> what was that? What was that? That's my pheasant noise. Oh. oh a, I was like, is that is that your cat? <laughs> I guess that's a turkey gobbling. It's more of a. Tur I don't know what a, I don't know what noise a pheasant makes, but I say KSU cat, and you started doing that. I was like, what is that? I can do cat noises. <laughs> we need Steve to cue up like wild, like wild kingdom noises in the background. <laughs> um, I guess KSU cat isn't a kitty cat. It's more like a bobcat, or it's like a big like, cat. So it should be like, rawr, rawr, rawr. yeah, yeah, like you kind of like. Rawr. Yeah. I'm a Nittany Lion, over, so, you know. We're... I'm over here going. 
<laughs> Pet me. <laughs> Scratch my ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I completely derailed. We have three courses that <laughs> derailed the whole yeah, show. Yeah, we got to find something to fill the time, right? Because we do. yeah, because the no, the next one's going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is premonition by Jayette. Um, I have a feeling that I know what you're going to say about that course. <laughs> premonition. I have a premonition. Yeah, I know what you're going to oh, say. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Which I, you know, this is a, um, we'll talk mm-hmm. about it. This is a, it's a fictitious course. Um, yeah. I had a conversation with him and I was like, don't call it a fantasy course because Cook does not like fantasy courses. <laughs> and this is, this is how much of a complete idiot and geek I am. The location is nowhere. Technically nowhere is location of the severed head of a giant celestial being that Guardians of the Galaxy went to. To go for it was actually called Nowhere. So right. Marvel fans and Guardians of the Galaxy fans, now you know. I just watched the third one the other day, and I I have no idea what you're talking about. Did I miss? Is that a it different? Was, it's the first one. Okay. All right. Well, yes. You remember that better than me. I do. And, and then we have uh, Quintero Golf Club. Quintero, yeah. Yeah, and Pac-Man, our, bud, our boy Pac-Man. And Arizona. Um, I got to tell you, Pac-Man, I love Pac-Man is always up for a round it's so funny it's like no yes. matter what day or time of night i post and like hey i'm looking to play around pac-man within five minutes it's like yeah i'm in it's I'm great in. yeah awesome yep so uh let's dig into what do we got the empals empals steve cue the uh cue the explosions and not too loud <laughs> <laughs> did, the, did the explosion sound like this <laughs> Well, last week, you know, we were, I, I did the show from the lake and I, we both had yes. different mics on and the sound was all messed up and I, and Steve went a little overboard with the volume of the sounds. And I think I, I think there was, they were one, loud. No, there was one guy who asked like, can you turn those down a little bit? <laughs> so I yelled, I yelled at Steve, gave him a hard time. We have, man, we, our editor is bad. I'm going to go for it. God, yeah. we needed a new editor. We're going we're gonna to drop him. Yeah, drop. I have to find a new one. I get it. We'll, we'll, we'll start out taking applications for a new, <laughs> new producer and editor. Yeah. So, MPAL number one. Uh, who is it? It is Premonition. I knew who it was. <laughs> I, knew, I, knew. Premonition. I knew who it was. <laughs> and I, I like the description. You know, you can go overboard and have, but this was perfect. <laughs> Welcome to Premonition and it escapes to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 uh, by the way, I'm going to say, I love this course. This course is oh, this so is much fun. Cool. And this course is really, really good. I was and telling you pre-show, I feel like this might be one of my top fives. And I actually yeah. started making a list of courses and, um, to play my indoor sim league. And this is on it. Um, they should but, be on it. This is a well, well done course, especially for a fantasy course. It's like it's a good r- one I mean, to show off the sim if someone comes over yep. just to kind of show it off. And it's like, it's good because it, it is, I don't like calling it, it's fictitious, right? And yep. like you see it and you're like, could this exist? You know, could this exist? Maybe if I was a billionaire and I bought an island and decided to turn it into a golf course, right? That's what this guy did. Yeah. So Jet did. Yeah. So, Jet. Uh, <laughs> I know it, Jayette. When you bu- when you win the lottery, you know you're gonna build it, right? And then you're gonna invite us all to play. He did a nice job too, because he had a really nice distribution of tees. You know, the 68 on the back. It's not too long. You're not gonna find any. You know, the tips guys may not like a 6800. Um, there's also a really it's there's some elevation, but not a ton of elevation. There's a couple of holes. There is. Um, so you think the tip guys are think it's too long? No, short, short not too short. I think oh, the tip okay. guys want. I think they like yeah. seven thousand plus. Okay. Yeah. Um, I look I when, I, when I look at my golf for the sim league. I'm looking for a set of tees that are between six thousand and sixty four hundred. Yeah. And a set of tees that are between like fifty six and fifty two. So we would probably play blue and yellows here. Yeah, it's been on my, and we don't have it this week, but we've been in the past. It's been on my feature request forever is to have us set the pins, but then have the ability to say, I want to specify, use the, I want to come, I want to create combo from existing set pins. So I can fill in gaps. Like right here, you go 68, 63, there probably could be a 6,500, 6,650 
T in there if you really wanted to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I would love the ability to set the T's and then just say, I want to choose this these two T's on hole one and these two T's on hole two and create a combo set. Yeah. I'll even take that a set further. What I like to do, want to do, mm. is I want to, when we play our league, we only play nine holes. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I pick kind of like the nine, what I consider the, the most interesting holes on a course. I would love to be able to change the order. <laughs> so I do like start well, with a par four, then a three, then a four, and then end with a five. But I can't do that if I'm picking, you know, the five. Well, let me ask you this. If you're doing that, you know, and we, you and I have experienced this a ton. If you're not playing the holes in order and you're skipping not around like one to 18 to two, but like one to five to seven to nine, the score gets all jacked only up. Only when you play online. Uh you're right. When you're all doing, you're all playing in the same we're room. We're all doing local play. It's fine. Got it. But, Got it. Well, yeah. I shouldn't say that because it's been a year since we played. So maybe that bug was introduced since the league ended last year. So oh, maybe I don't know. But, but yeah, I think it is play just on... online play that causes that problem. Because because a lot of times we'll skip around holes yeah. and all of a sudden our scores are coming. And jacked. honestly, it doesn't matter because I keep whole I keep scores separately anyway because we do handicaps. Ah. So I had this extravagant spreadsheet where I'm tracking handicaps. I'm tracking who's playing who because we do got it stable for match play. Got it. So you win the hole, but then you get points for winning the hole by how you win it. Yeah, you no, win it with a birdie, you get, get points. Yes, yeah, so you get so many points for a birdie, so many points for a par, yeah. and then yeah. the reason we like that is because it doesn't punish you for a blow up hole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just get no points for losing the hole. Yeah, you get no points for losing the hole. You get zero points for a blow up hole, but if the guy they're playing against birdies it, yeah, you're you just lost three points yep. against them. If someone birdies it and you par, or is, let's see, is there um, a way that it's both modified people stable get- for it? So I think it birdie is two, par is one. So if if you if I parred it and you birdied it, you won the hole, but I'd still get the one point. Yes, got it. Okay. But cool. um, we also play handicaps too. So depending on handicap, maybe yep. that isn't the case. Yeah. Yep. For sure. Okay. Well, okay. Cool. Let's well, go. Let's go. Sorry. We, I digress. Yes. I completely. So ra- let's, let's get us. our ugly mugs out of the way because this course is absolutely beautiful. I this love is gorgeous. The rustic feel of it with the grown up grass amongst the fences and then the custom team markers, the custom signs. And if you look at these things closely, he put a great texture on there with a great normal so that normal gives it without Depth. the normal it, it's it's like a picture of wood with the normal it gives it the bumpiness of the wood right so yep. it looks like you know that is carved in there it looks like someone took a a log and cut it in half same I mean, thing with the t mark or the uh, the t he, signs he did such a great job on that t marker with the spiral of the wood when you cut through it looking on the top right yeah. with the texture on the uh, it's just really well done and it looks like it was burned in it looks like you know somebody yeah. you know wood carved it wood burned it into the side it's great and, and for the designers out there this is the advantage if you go out and i'm not sure where he learned to do this but if you take a blender course this is the stuff you learn which is how to put like different things on different sides of objects and yep. do exactly things like that. Um, one of the tutorials I took early in back, it was making a soda can. So making the side smooth, but putting putting a lid on it that is not like there's no hole in the lid, but using like a normal, it looks like there's a hole in the lid and it looks yep. like there's a tab on the top, even though it doesn't affect your your triangles and your, and your vert counts. So it's stuff yep. like that that you learn to do. And That's great. So, so these are probably like low poly, you know, there's, that that T marker is one, two, three. It's probably six polys, or, you know, six squares. That's the sides. Yeah. Same thing yeah. with the uh, the sign there. It's just it's it's uh, extremely probably really good performing. Now, I'm going to quiz you because you quizzed me last week. <laughs> now, <laughs> see this T sign right here? Yes, yes, yes. Now, what do you what what what's the common? I see I see <laughs> a, a matching um hole from the mini map yes. so looking at that yeah yeah, yeah. So he, it even yep. looks like they carved the holes the, right into the you can even see the t like if you look at that t sheet that t that t you can see like the 
you're yeah. cur you're using your mouse. You can see the T's there, and then you can see the T's right there. Exactly. Yeah, yep. I thought those were bullet holes initially. <laughs> no, those <laughs> well, are the it is a rustic marks. chorus, you know. Yes. <laughs> some guy went out, some redneck went out on Friday night was shooting up some T signs. Yeah. Oh, there was a whole discussion on the fitness channel yesterday um, about uh, guns and stuff. I don't know if you saw that or not. Oh, my what goodness. What is it up with that like channel? Why did that channel end up getting just like all the arguments and the drama what a channel is awesome i love that channel so much <laughs> it's so much fun to be to hang out in there <laughs> there's a lot of personalities in that channel it's a lot of fun it's a lot of it's a lot of fun uh i i it's just so look at the vert painting on that path the walkway yeah. the pathway I, I think this is like a perfect example of what we can do with vert painting now. So two yeah. things he did was vert painting to make it look like a path and vert painting to remove the 3DG. Yep. Right? So yep. <laughs> it's, and, it's awesome. And you do the two at once. It's one step. Yeah. You just use that texture as the black. And as you're painting the texture on, you're getting rid of the 3DG. Yep. It's great. Yep. And then I just like to touch the little bit of purple flowers he has intertwined with there just yep. to break things up a tad matching the colors to the floors making it look fuller than it really is yeah um it looks great like he, he does right. not have a, a initial look at that deep rough i'd be like holy crap look how he's got that way too but it's not it's not super thick it just matches beautifully the floor yeah. so it doesn't see look sparse it doesn't like look i can spotty. see floor here there's definitely floor yep. showing there if, if i'm looking for it but if you're you know uh, we as designers notice those things, but no one else does. Um, the rocks interspersed to it. Um, now this is great. It, so I was I was playing the course, and actually, when I played with you, we played through this. I didn't notice the helicopter. I didn't either. I noticed it when I was flying through after. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so then I was mousing through, getting uh, slides for today, and I was like, well, "What is?" That? I thought it was a dragonfly at first. I thought it was like a bird or something. <laughs> and then I was like, well, "It does move fast, like one." So yeah. So then I went out after it. And I was like, "Oh, it's a helicopter." And then I watched it for a little bit, and I was like, "Oh, it's coming in to this pad that serves the clubhouse." And I realized, "Well, yeah." Because otherwise, you have no way of getting here. There's no parking lot. There are no cars here. So the only way to get to Jayette's private island, because he's a billionaire and built this golf course, is via helicopter. Yep. I couldn't get a screenshot of it, though, because it's moving so fast. So I had to wait till I it say, landed. When I tried to grab one, it was already so small. I will tell you, I think um, not only did he do a fantastic job on this, both the rotor on top and the yes. rotor on the tail are they're animated and they're, yes. and, and they're rotating at different speeds. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty like, cool. It, it's really cool. Now, and the, and the my rotor own, stopped when it landed. And the rotor stopped when it landed. My <laughs> only critique, if there is a critique of it, is if it takes off from here and it flies directly behind out to the ocean, I would love to have seen it fly over a hole flying off. Like, we missed this whole thing on the course i would love to see so, it fly over and drop me more golf balls because i ran out i was gonna fly over and drop me bourbon but <laughs> yeah. you know golf balls bourbon <laughs> bourbon little parachutes <laughs> exactly. golf balls it's you like can just drop but bourbon like you gotta be careful games, little, para <laughs> little parachute things dropping down and there are bourbon in them <laughs> it's like run pud runs when he did uh what was it? it what's what's the course he did it was michael jordan's course that has the drones delivering food out to the guys oh right? my god yeah it was it was it was it was, was uh, that that was a tiger's course no, no it was, was Jordan's course. It was Jordan's course. Yeah. Was something 23. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't remember now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except it's a helicopter dropping big bottles of bourbon. Um, so which which is serving the clubhouse because you can't drive there. And I don't know if he built this. This is ass, but it, it fits does really he, well. I love the lighthouse. Does he do his own blunder work? I'm assuming, yeah, he's done. I think it, he does. I think like, he's between done a the bunch, T yeah. markers and the signs and this. Yeah. If not, they sh he should have someone else's name on it to give him some credit. Yeah, I, I, I for some I reason thought, thought and I could be wrong. I thought he had maybe made a post like thanking Justin for some help with the T markers, but that might have been okay. somebody else. I might okay. be completely conflating. That's the only reason I ask because I, I, I remember somebody recently saying, and I remember looking at him very briefly notice they were narrow and tall kind of like his yeah. so i could be way off the mark here i just was curious yeah i i just like this because it looks to me like a like a private chateau yeah I mean, it does um here this is it from the 18th when we played this 
we always try, you and I, we always try to play like one, nine, 10, and 18, just because, you know, they, those tend to be the holes that either come in and out of a clubhouse. And coming up here was just really cool to see the, 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 the lighthouse poking up over the trees and, yeah. and the clubhouse in general. But it was, that and was pretty cool. Just to clarify, we always try to play one through 18. But yes. when we, scheduling permits, we yes. can't do that. We'll get, yeah. Yeah. Usually we play nine at least. Yeah. And pick another a couple few in there. Um, and then more paths, which look really good. And then the ocean looked great. Well, well then remember we were the, the theme for the week. Remember the theme? Yeah. Which was that I was surprised. The only, uh, there was a critique here, which is I, well, you know, my game mashy, which is, you know, I hit <laughs> the ball all over the place. All right. I can By the hit way, it far we've been and playing, I can hit it wide. <laughs> we've been playing together for almost a year now. Um, that's part of the show here. And yeah, I'm telling you, it's it's so funny. I never know what to get. I never know what to expect when you're on the tee. And I mean that like I mean that with all sincerity and love. Like you 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 will hit it 300 with a beautiful little draw and end up right there in the center, center left side of a fairway. Or you might have that exact same swing, and it's 45 degrees out to the right and going further to the right and four holes over. You never know what you to get. So it's um, you're right on that. And this this course can hurt you a little bit on that. Well, no, it doesn't because well, actually, none it doesn't. of the stuff is marked as hazard. That was my yeah. So as we're playing, I hit one way left. It was like a duck snap left, <laughs> you know. And I ended up on the side of a mountain hill. Yep. And you yep. said, I remember the exact thing you said. Well, I've never seen a twenty-five percent incline. <laughs> it was twenty. It was twenty-five degrees up and twenty-five degrees right. I didn't know you could yeah. do all those at the same time. And so I was, I was, as I was hitting, I was going because I felt like a billy goat. <laughs> <laughs> and I well, and in, in in fairness, you would have never been able no. to climb up there to find that ball. So anyway, that's where I, we, we kind of said that, that that should probably be marked as a hazard. But yeah. honestly, it might be one of the reasons I, I load this up for the indoor sim because shots like that are kind of funny. <laughs> and, you know, and it doesn't matter how far left you aim. That no. ball went 90 degrees to the yeah. right. <laughs> now, my next shot, I was punished. Yes, that the thing is, my next shot was punished. I really aimed really far left and that thing yes. still shot to the right when i hit it um yep. so it, it you know that so i don't know jay you can fix it not fix it but i would recommend like spots like this maybe mark as hazards maybe for the yeah, next I, course you do hopefully you do another i do course. i do think and i'll add this to it i think there are enough spots in between holes that if you had one where you pulled it left and um had to take a sin drop there was no yeah. way for you to get out of there. Yeah, I was sitting um, way down in there, and I was like, oh, there's no way I'm getting out. I just need to take a sim drop. Yeah, Yeah. so I do recommend between holes and maybe on the periphery, put some you know, uh, put some hazards in there because it's just you – know, so I don't know how annoyed people will be if they're playing this course in an SGT tournament and they have to take a sim drop because they can't get their ball off. Yeah. You know? That's probably – it's definitely one of the harder things, I think, about doing a fantasy course is you really don't know, like, the areas like that, right? Because yeah. it's kind of – you just you, – well, we'll talk about what he did here in a second. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, let me go back here because the, the other thing I thought he did really well – I'm sure this has got to be Lux Water. But – yep. The pace of the water was absolutely perfect. Um, yep. Ten, people tend to go too fast with water, and this was love just, the slow rollers yeah, he had coming in. They were great. Good. I, I got to figure out maybe get beg you to give your screenshots because I'd like to see water like that at Kapalua. Yep. Yep. Um, Although you're so far away from the water at Kapalua, actually, I had, the, I had the water in there. Oh, yeah, well, you should, but I don't know if you'll see the rolling because this is oh. pretty close. But yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, but you do see like, well, yep. this is like this is what I want to see though the, the caps yep. that he has here. Now I'm going to get our our mugs out of the way. Um, so another critique. I don't know if this is a critique for me to see billboards. The performances, I had to fly far away. But he actually, you can tell here he's got a tree that's not billboarded correctly. That really dark one. Yep. And then the other one are are there a little light? So I would darken those. Honestly, though. I don't know if I would change it because I didn't see the billboards on course whenever I was well, there. 
that's what I was going to say. I actually was going to, it was funny you'd put this in. I started putting a screenshot about billboards in as well, but then I went back into the course and I could not find the missing, I couldn't find the billboard mismatch from any hole. The, the, the course has enough space yes. in between holes and elevation yes. that you don't see them. You can't when you're get on far them. enough to see them. Yeah. So even so, on the flyovers, I didn't see them. He, maybe he didn't even bother to look because he didn't see them anyway. So yep. I mean, I, we're being, I think, a little stupid here. Yep. Um, yep. But the interesting thing about this course is that it is fictitious. And he, he got a terrain out of like a Unity terrain package. And then it's just like, this looks cool. And then went in and did some sculpting to fix it. But at the end of the day, um, I love stuff like this. And I was talking to him. I was like, isn't it like liberating to be able to like make this look anywhere you want? And he's like, yeah, it was like you start, you know, thinking it's going to do this. And then it just morphs into something as you go. And next thing you know, it's, you know, you got this finished product. So I, it sounds like he had a lot of fun with it. And it's a good thing because it looks really good. So this reminds me of something, though, as I was looking at this screenshot of the island that he's using. Mm -hmm. um, and if you go to the next slide, it may jog my memory. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Well, that's the uh, it's one of the Hawaiian islands, right? One of the islands. No, that is the island from Jurassic Park. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so we can add some more sounds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We should have, yeah, we, and to, you know, it's funny to some degree. The noises and the sounds he has on this chorus made me feel a little bit like you're not getting the standard GS Pro bird bird uh chirping right. noises on this course i felt like man i he needs to pair up with uh with golf boy and put some dinosaurs on the course and yeah i want to see a t-rex come across the fairway and <laughs> shoot and a raptor comes out and grabs your ball and eats it it, it runs away exactly so <laughs> it's it, the course it reminded me a lot of the the island reminded me a lot of the, of the uh, jurassic pro uh the jurassic park island wait a minute that says honolulu on it though I know it's this the big island of Maui. Oh, <laughs> I mean the so big I island is the big island after all. <laughs> no, you're not. It's a white island. Yes, it's the white islands. <laughs> it was uh, the only island I could grab in the last second before the show started. <laughs> all right. So then we good have job. A, great job. Yes, great good job. I I have that added to my list to play uh, in the winter league. So thank you very much. Um, and then we have Quintero Golf Club in Peoria, Arizona. Um, is this like in the Scottsdale area? Is that what this is? Uh, I don't know where Peoria, Arizona is. Now, I did didn't some again. I'm I I get confused. I thought somebody was. I think Salty was actually saying that we got this one listed at 509 feet, but he says it's listed at two. 2000 in real life and if it's 2000 oh. it's not phoenix yeah it's certainly not yeah that's for so sure. maybe tucson oh I, I doubt it is because there's a lot of elevation on this course as i went through there there was yeah there are some mountains in here and I don't yeah think there, there are is, some I don't, I don't think scottsdale is really uh a hilly area it's pretty like valley no it's outside of phoenix i'm looking at it right now yes. it's outside okay. of phoenix yep yep okay. yep yeah what do we know yep then? It looks like it's north uh, northwest of Phoenix. So here's a good tips course, right? Seventy one twenty seven. Seventy one twenty seven. There's a good tips course. Yeah. Bob Chung and those guys are gonna like that one. Yeah. Enjoy it. Just because that guy, you know what he does? He just does the tip. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I I can't I can't every time I see this course, all I think of is it's the Quentin Tarantino and, Golf Club. And. <laughs> In pre-show, you put this in there and you showed me, and I was like, "Now I can't unsee it." So now, I now can't. this is the Quentin Tarantino. It's the Quentin Tarantino Golf Club. It's the, yes. he owns a golf club, and of course, I had to go back and get Tarantino from Dustal Dawn. Okay, because like just yes. classic Tino, uh, Tarantino, and and there's a lot of classic Tarantino out there, but this yeah. is just one I grabbed. But I can say um, that, of course, in my life, I have used duct tape as a band aid too. You, uh, we all have at one yeah. point or time or another, yeah. Yeah. but I, I, I can't, I can't unsay, I can't say it's, it's the Quintero, <laughs> but every time I say it, it's the Quint, I can't say it. It's the Quentin Tarantino golf course. Yeah. Golf club. Yeah. Golf club. Excuse he, me. Pro he's probably a member there. He may. He owns it. Yeah. So it is. So this is one of those courses. It looks like every other one on GS pro. 
It looks like every other one, yeah. <laughs> well, and I, somebody did actually post, was it Pac-Man who posted it? Like somebody actually posted, I think, on Facebook, and it was like, um, oh, another another dried out, sun-baked Arizona course. This one's actually really lush and green. <laughs> And I don't you see, that? see that here. Like I no, actually no. I saw that post, and yeah. I immediately went and, and looked at screenshots of this course. And I think this is pretty accurate because the course, the greens are green, but like yeah. the outside of it, it's like they stop and yeah, it's freaking desert. <laughs> yeah, agreed. So I, 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 I think it's spot on if you ask me compared to the pictures. Now, another thing I always do when i look at pictures of golf courses online i'm like okay first of all they make them a lot greener than they really are in the pictures right yep they always yep. oversaturate and make it look like extremely green but yeah yep. i mean looking at this looked pretty good to me i think it looked really good to me too i don't have any issue with the way it looked it felt like i was in arizona i love the sororo cactuses and and stuff around i think that looked they looked spot on to me probably i will say probably one of the most favorite team markers i've seen I, dude, it's so good. The detail on the T marker is it's mind-blowingly good. Yeah. Um, I just like that you look at the T marker. I specifically looked at this angle. It looks like <laughs> the mountain back there, you know? Just, it, it does. Just, it just themes it all together, ties it all together really well, nicely. Well, and it looks like that cactus is floating in the queue. It's not, right? It's connected on both sides, and it's the yeah. detail is so good. Yeah, so it's cactus, a little mountain back there, so it's yep. it's, it's what we're playing. It looks just like it. Yep. Um, vegetation, I felt, was really unique. I felt like it was very desert-like. The only thing I wasn't, I just felt like some of these tufts, these little groups of grass i felt like the light stuff and i think this is the dry setting in vs pro just could be a toned down a tad to make Fair. it not as blonde as it is and not as dried out and make it look all you know, just match it a little bit more that's fair but it's pac-man he does vegetation really good so the only thing i would have loved to have seen i mentioned this in pre-show is you know first we need steve to queue up the like I want that, like, you know, oh, the, the, uh, the, the Western music. Outlaw, the the <laughs> Western music. Well, yeah, exactly. I would love to have seen um, some uh, 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 skulls, like in the, <laughs> <laughs> like, like cattle skulls buzzards. or whatever skulls. Like, but yeah, like a couple buzzards flying overhead, <laughs> pulling out some intestines and some real killer. Something. <laughs> my my son and I went on a bike ride um, over the weekend. Yeah, we went and. Um, we were in this uh, big grassy area, big tall grassy area, um, where of course I'm just looking for reference material for how the grasses <laughs> blend together. And he's he's riding his bike in the path, and I'm like, "Go ahead, kid. I got work to do." And I'm looking at all the reference stuff, and uh, this hawk flies right overhead, like literally maybe ten feet above us, and it's got a snake that's about this long, <laughs> dangling out of his mouth um, as this goes by. So yeah, like buzzards, vultures skulls things like that on the desert would be awesome maybe a grave like a couple guys like digging a grave <laughs> that they're gonna bury somebody in <laughs> like joe pesci i want joe pesci out there <laughs> from casino <laughs> um this was hole three so this was a par four um and this is definitely one of the holes that i picked to play um in the winter league because i like uh Holes with lots of challenges and, and uh, water on them for the guys. So we like it when other people fail. <laughs> yep. We're so yep. bad. Um, but another good looking hole. I like the water on here. And then, so I'll tell you, if you go back real quick, yeah. it's funny. I played, I played when I played this in the sim earlier today. I played up the other fairway. I didn't even oh. play out over the water. I played directly up the green fairway on the left there. Yeah. And hit straight across the desert. And, and, now, and by the way, you playing from the tips, because if you're playing from the shorter tees, that doesn't make sense. I think I played right. from one up. So if you look, okay. it was one yes. up from the, so yeah. then it made perfect sense. And then, but also again, it's kind of the theme for the week. If you look other than the water, there is no hazard anywhere on this course. <laughs> yeah. So I think, and yeah, so, be... yeah, I, if my second shot, actually yeah. I went for it because it was no, and it landed in the, in the, dirt and, and I there's just dirt. the name for the show no hazards for you <laughs> no hazards for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, you could totally go up the now we would play probably not the next one up, but probably these ones, which would give you a, a choice. You have to make a choice at that point. You have to make a choice if you want to go up the left yeah. or the right. Yeah. Now this is where the course in real life probably has something like you must play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like yeah don't you can't go to the left yeah because yeah. you're hitting because you're actually if you look at the way that course is lined up you're hitting into the people coming down to the green oh totally absolutely yeah you're completely hitting into them oh yeah yeah Very yeah dangerous situation yeah because all the tee boxes are over here and then uh i had to put this one in there because everyone likes a nice elevated uh, uh par three right so yep. from the tips 217 down 40 yards Love this, love yeah. this, love this, love this. This is my kind of my kind of hole right here. Now, and I can't remember. I think I took another screenshot looking back on this hole. Nope, I didn't. Um, but yeah, so just a really fun hole. You get into stuff like this, and you just you know take out your uh, you know seven, eight, or yep. nine iron, whatever, and just let it rip. Um. So this was like a little stream, and I, I, I at first I was looking at this, and I was like. How did he make it look like there was like a tunnel underneath here? And I was like, is that vert painting? Is that like, did he do actually do a separate mesh and just made it black? And then I realized that all these rocks are floating. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the shadow from this rock hanging out there. Um, so technically he... He did actually uh, make a tunnel. I don't know if it's on purpose or what, but, but the rocks like, just kind of they match in the middle, and and you have yeah. a tunnel. <laughs> yeah. So I I, thought, I mean it looked really good, and then I was like looking closer, and and uh, honestly, it's not until you know I fly around and I start getting nitpicky because I'm looking for something to critique, right? Um, so it was it was fun. I had a good time with that, you know, thing. Like, oh, cool tunnel. Nope, that's a shadow oh, from no a tunnel. rock that's hanging like over there. No tunnel for you. No tunnel for you. <laughs> so I, I took I took this just because I was having a little fun. And what I mean by this is, um, first off, I love the house. I don't know where the house came from. I don't know if that's downloadable by other folks. I think the house was great and everything. But um, this is, again, another course, as I mentioned earlier, with no hazards anywhere except <laughs> for, like, around the water. Um, matter of fact, there's not even any OB in this course around the houses, which most of the time, not always, but most of the time you got um, – you've got OB coming up around houses. So I actually hit my ball over here. No collider on the house, which is cool. So I went right through the house. That's fine. Um, I don't think there's a collider. At least I went through the house. Oh, you went through the house, like right through the window. Through went the through house. the house, through the window, and landed kind of in the backyard there. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, But me being me, when I have the ability to hit the ball wherever the hell I want to hit it with no hazard whatsoever... I'm up for the challenge. So <laughs> on the next on the next screenshot, I managed to scale by hitting my 60 degree up the tallest hill I could possibly find. <laughs> you can see from the from number six, I'm now 701 yards away from the hole. So <laughs> so this is your ball right here in the mini map. Yes. And yes. here's the hole way over here. 701 <laughs> yards away. So what did you end up scoring on the Oh wait, you're 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 sitting at I'm 15 plus, over on the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was even I was even par until I got to the point where I'm like, "Wait, there's no hazards. I can hit the ball anywhere." And then I went to town and now I'm 15 over. So and this I is how here. when you say, "Hey, that's like four uh, you know, <laughs> three woods away." This is how you test your theory, huh? This is how you test your theory exactly. So I'm 700 <laughs> yards away. So how how far is that? It's like you know three drivers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now deep rough though, you got you're gonna have to smack it around a few times to get out of there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I literally sat here with my 60 degree. I didn't didn't use yeah. practice mode. Didn't place the ball. I literally wanted to spelunk my way which, inside of GS Pro. Which is nice. You said practice mode there, so that that'll tie in nicely to a little uh, post of the week that we have later on. So yes, it will. Yes, so, it will. Yeah. You, so he did not use practice mode to get here. I did not. <laughs> I did not. It was too inconvenient. <laughs> okay. So right. great job, requests. Black Man. Love the yes. course. Good course. Thank you, sir. Um, love the uh, my, love me a good Pac Man course and uh, very unique and um, definitely yep. gonna play that one again sometime with the guys. Agreed. Feature quest. So you had a good one when we were playing. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So this is on the green. 
and I, I guess I, I I didn't take a screenshot of it, so I'll just explain it. What I what I find on the green is a lot of times when you're on the green with a ball and you're um, um, it, it'll tell you your distance to the pin and it will tell you whether you're up, down or flat. OK, and I'll say you're down three inches. But there's been a number of times where I feel that in order I, I may in totality be down two inches from my putt, but I have to go up the hill first, crest, and then come down. So yes, I'm down too, but it, it really isn't taking into account the up and the down. Or if you've got an angle or, or you've got a you got a, a you know you got a slider where you're gonna putt way off to the left and have it slide around. Sometimes those are uphill. We ran into this a couple of times playing um um premonition where I'm like it says I'm down five inches, but my God, it looks like I'm going up a ton. And so I would, I would love to see a way that either the grid lines themselves or the little balls that are moving on the grid lines are colored. So I could see this is going up and then this is going back down a little bit better. I know we've added slope shader in, so the slope shader has helped give them some shading and it's helping see the slope a little better. But I'd love it to so be think, able to. Yeah, we so we had two ideas. One was have the balls that are moving change color when they change from like being at the peak or the bottom of a yeah. of a slope. That's one idea. Or the grid lines themselves have those change right. color so that maybe it's red and then it changes to white at the top and then changes to blue. And maybe there's a way of tying the grid green to the slope shader to yeah, give right. different shades of color to the grid itself yeah yeah no i like yeah i, I think my, the problem i have in my sim is that um and i see this i think i see this in a lot of people's sims is i have a good screen i've got like a carl's premium screen because i have 4k yep but I yep. hit into the same area, like this four, like this three foot yeah. radius area. So I get a little bit of a bubble there. So when I'm looking yep. at the screen, sometimes the picture actually looks like there's a slope on the green, but it's actually my screen that's just wobbled in like an inch or two. So that would really help with that, I think. So you were the screen in the last week's yeah. um, Facebook <laughs> post yes. of the week of the, with the yeah. grommet missing in the top. I do have to say my screen looks pretty darn good because, you know, I've got a, a nice projector and a good screen. But no, yep. that was not me. But it, I don't think there's anything <laughs> you can do to prevent that bubble other than rotating your screen around, which I really can't do. Um, yep. Yeah. But so my feature request. Yeah, yours is a good one. Well, so we are playing Premonition. And I hit a ball that rolled into a sand trap, and it yep. ended up here. No, I don't know. Which, I don't know how that stays on the edge. Yes. So that was wacky. So I had a very tricky bunker shot because I was like a, a, a incline, and it was. And then also like we're, I had to move the camera around to to show you guys the shot, but I was actually hitting from back here, and you couldn't even see the ball really because it was covered by the 3dg so my feature request is and i've seen kind of this happen before where you hit a ball and, and normally in real life this ball would kind of roll down into the bunker right yeah so my feature request would be a way that a would the perfect world the designer could say hey any ball that hits within like you know a half a meter or quarter of a meter within, within any of my bunkers, I don't want it to stay there. I want it to roll down, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. I didn't tell you this, but I'm going to even take this one step further. Okay. Okay. That's if the ball rolls there. But if it hits that on the fly, it does plug. I want it to plug. <laughs> I want 100%. I want it to plug. I want it to hit and plug and not bounce off, for yes. sure. So, I had one of those at Green Valley Ranch with the guys earlier this week I talked about. And I had a nine iron um, that I had uh, out of the rough, had a really uphill lie on it. And it came up a little bit short into a greenside bunker. And we're like, we know it's in the bunker. Where is it? And three yeah. of us looked, couldn't find it. Finally found it right at like where yours is. It was up against the lip of the bunker and it we could see a little bit of white. And yeah. we literally had to walk over and brush off some some sand. And look, it was make sure it was your ball. Yeah. Make sure it was our ball. It was plugged. Yeah, and uh, I had to hit it. I, I did. I blasted out with the sixty, but um, 
still, I, I love the idea of plugging a bunker, uh, yeah. plugging a ball in a bunker. So the idea would be like this ridge down here, that, that ball would, if it rolled in here, it would roll back into the roll ridge, up but and if roll it hit down. there in a fly, yeah, it's yeah. plugged. If it comes in over a certain speed or yes. comes up with a certain, then it, then yeah. it goes now, in. Obviously, if you if you just duff one, you don't, and I'll fly, you don't want it there. So it would have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. speed and distance. So yeah. But now you've got all kinds of extra physics and all you got excited the materials because, right. like, you got to, yeah, it's we can, uh, we can dream about this stuff, right? I mean, someday, yeah. I mean, sim golf is just going to, can you imagine what it's going to be like in 20 years? I mean, I, I can't. No, I mean, it's going to be. It's going to be real. I, I golf. bet we're not I mean, even going to hit into projector screens anymore. Probably some type right. of VR. Who knows? Probably some VR. Yeah. Um, I love this feature request. And I love the add-on. I think it's great. I'm going to add one more feature request, too. Oh, boy. Here we go. And this is less of a feature request and more of a feature revamp, okay? It is time, and I don't know. I don't think T Tree or ATP, they're probably too busy to watch our show. But I know John does, and so John can filter some things. I think, I don't know if it's, like, it, not an incremental, but the next uh, GS Pro coming, I think it's time to revamp the cameras. It's time to add more cameras, more camera angles. It's time to, I I cannot tell you how many times when you, that when you and I play, my ball isn't even showing up on the screen. It's missing completely. Yeah. Um, and so I'm trying to pot and I can't even see the ball. And I get it. I'm, I'm, I got my numbers and how far it is. I don't have to see the ball. Um, how many times with, with a hill, the camera is fixed behind the, the, the head of the person. And that's in the train. Yeah. So I've got grass in my way, or I got stuff in my way. I just think it's time for for GS Pro to have more camera angles that we can choose from if one of them is blocked or something like that. I'm 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 guessing we might have to wait for another update to Unity before that to happen. But who knows? Yeah, I don't know if it's that or if it's just like they just you know I don't know if it's a course thing versus a I I think I think it's a like the GS Pro like I don't know what version we're on we're on two but it's it's not a 2.1 feature as a three feature it's yeah, like hey yeah, we gotta yeah. do big thing our big winter release is coming we're adding three new cameras into it you know yep so and then um a lot of people's favorite segment which is the, <laughs> we uh, got a few of these yeah, we got a few this week yeah um post of the week so first one i think this is the one that ties into your practice mode thing earlier which was <laughs> this guy who wrote if there's anyone, maybe Patreon accounts, that are working on practice-based types of courses, kind of like a good version of what Unicur Refine software it is. I have Refine, and that's not even good. Their practice mode in there is horrible. Dude, it's horrible. It's horrible. I have Refine. It's horrible. It's, it doesn't work well. It's even hard to move your ball around. Yes. And where well one can drop a ball in an existing course, but the convenience factor isn't the same. I don't know how you make that any more convenient. Load up a course, well, you click on the map where you want the ball, and you hit it over and over again. <laughs> That's what somebody said. Somebody was like, you can stick the ball literally anywhere on, on any course. course. It's called practice mode. No, I'm aware <laughs> of that. I'm looking at something that's more convenient. I... <laughs> I don't know what's more convenient than going to 601 courses, go into practice mode and drop the ball anywhere you want and practice any shot. I guess what's easier is GS Pro reads your mind as you're walking down to your sim and it says, oh, today we're going to work on eight foot pots. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it loads it up for you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. All right. And then, um, <laughs> Jim. <laughs> 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 <It's good. laughs> okay. And he said, he called a guy out. He tagged a guy and he said, thanks, Billy. Uh, and I have a Garmin. I have GS Pro. And I have it all done. I have it all done. Except when I hit a ball, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the definition of not all done. That's far from done. That's not quite. I mean, that's of all done. I tell you what, that's like the most important thing in a sim. I think you know, just I just you know, you want to you hit a ball, you want it to do something, right? I get, I've got it all done. It's just like, and I my name. I, I tell you what, well, I, tell you what, uh, my name's on there, and it, it, and it's on the top, but when I hit it, nothing happens. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he put his phone number on here for everybody to give him a call to help. I've uh, I've <laughs> taken his phone number by the way, and I've I've actually passed it around to several um, inappropriate websites. I texted him <laughs> and I said, "Hey, I'll fix it for eighty bucks." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, okay. Be careful, because the next thing he's going to ask you is how to fix his putting. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Nothing happens because he was putting. It's, it's true. It was putting. <laughs> he had it in. It was in chip mode or whatever. It's the sky track. <laughs> it's an R10. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, that's a sky. It's an R10. Track. You can't even putt with a damn thing. <laughs> okay. Um, this one's not as good, but I still thought it was funny. It was like. Has anyone created a game like what Trackman does with the closest to the pin challenge where it keeps track of your distance from the pin to the hole and then keeps track of everybody and so you can play against your buddies? Well, as a matter of fact, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's called, it's called, and ironically, closest to the pin. Closest to the pin. <laughs> and guess what? Like practice mode, you could do it on every single course. <laughs> I it seemed like this week, for some reason, the theme and the post this week were like very basic GS Pro functions that if someone just opened like the manual and kind of like went through it, R they would know this. R stuff. RTFM? Yes, RTFM. You want the TLDR on the RTFM? Yes, so 95% of the posts this week are answered by Ralph P. videos. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> or just go to Ralph P.'s YouTube or channel. Correct, and he has all of the answers. Correct. Hashtag GS Pro Tips. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hashtag Ralph P is awesome. Thank you for the great videos. Yes. And we're not done. There's one more. Oh, actually, I think you added something that I wasn't aware of. But here's here's my other one, which is. <laughs> and I, I think this guy was kind of joking, but I still think it's pretty good, right? Which is, hey, I've got a few acres for horses, and I just want to put a golf course out there, but. I got it started for you. <laughs> I think that's hysterical. This crack, this cracked me up. Like I like this crazy. guy. He's, he's got a good sense of humor. I I, I enjoyed this. <laughs> oh, it was hysterical. I, I think he was joking. I don't think he was real serious. Oh, no, about I don't think this. he was I serious at all. But, I, but um, the fact yeah. that he like just drew it out like that. <laughs> I do. I I think it's so good. Yes. Yeah. I've yeah, started for I, you. I'm like, hey, if you could do that, you could probably do Inkscape, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> this might be post of the week. Like this, like like true, like this one, like yes. you know, this wasn't like somebody saying, "Hey, I can't put on my R10." This is more like you know, he he knows us, he knows it, not yes. you and I. Like he knows the community, and he's like, "Hey, yeah. let me inkscape out for you." But <laughs> <laughs> let me show you how this is laid out. Here you go. Here, I'm 25 percent of the way there for you. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, good. It's so awesome. Nice post. Thank you very much for the giggle on that one. Appreciate it. We have one more thing too. Yeah, and I, this is this is one of those where uh, pre-show you said, let me add another slide. I'm not going to show you what it is. I did. I did. And you don't know what this so, slide is. So where should I move the camera so we can see our faces? Uh, you can move us off of the side like we, you have us like right now. It's fine. smaller? Is that good? Yeah. I think that's fine right there. All right. So should I go? Should I do this? Yeah. All right. Here we go. So I have been doing a ton of research <laughs> and have gone through in, in David Letterman fashion. I could, didn't get to 10, but I did pull together the top seven. I say Facebook post of the week, not this week of the week. So we're going to do a little countdown here. Okay. okay. And we're going to and go. So we're going to start so with like, number seven. So not of like, like, but the overall face, like overall, are these overall, like really so ones from the past too, or like, just... you'll, you'll see, okay. you'll, you'll see, right. you'll see. So okay. the number seven top Facebook posts of the week. All right. So we're going from seven to one, right? Correct. Okay. So I'll number go. seven, can someone help <laughs> me connect my SkyTrack to GS Pro? <laughs> that one is and along home. with my phone number. Here it is. Here's my phone number, and can you show me how to do it? <laughs> <laughs> what I think a lot of times is, is funny is that the people that think like Facebook groups are like official support groups for I know, not just you know, community groups. That's it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, number six. We need a drum roll. Put it number six. Yes. There you go. I got an NVIDIA 1050 GPU. How do I get GS Pro to run a 4K? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a version of this post, I think, every day. And, and 
go ahead, go ahead. I can gotta, I gotta add to this, though. You'll go, you go. Which is the person that comments, it says, oh, my, mine runs 4K, or mine runs great. <laughs> they, I love they, 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 they love that. They love that. Say, but what they don't realize <laughs> is like, no, it's not running great, and your experience really isn't that good, but you think it is. It's, <laughs> it, you're getting some stuttering, but I don't know. I, 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 I just, I 100% agree. There's always someone who chimes in and says, hey, my 1050 is doing 4K. Awesome. I don't understand it. I'm running four 4K monitors at once with it. I don't understand what you're doing. Yeah, I have a 4K um, projector, you know. And I, listen, I get, I get the, I don't understand the, just try it. Like, just load it up or, I don't know. Anyway, okay, anyway. That was number six. All right. <laughs> These get better and better as we go. Ready? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Number five. Number five. <laughs> What's the best course? <laughs> hashtag <laughs> hashtag www.betweentwobiomes.com. I post that. By the way, hit the shout out to everybody who posted. I've seen Thank Rusty you. Dave. I've seen yeah. Steve. I see everybody posted, and it's the best place to go to find the best courses, but, uh, unless play them yourself. But yeah, we are. So the, the day we will are officially successful is the day when someone asks that, and the only comment is just our website. People I've seen that. I have seen somebody just on uh, the first one was like, "Hey, I'm new. I'm 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 getting back into GS Pro. Haven't haven't played since the winter." what are the top courses and the next post somebody posted a link and said just go uh, look at the imp house yeah. yeah and i was like score done yeah everybody's yeah. like wouldn't they have like 10 comments and all of them just like imp house go the imp house imp house yeah exactly yep all right four number four i can't get putting to work on my r10 <laughs> and gs pro can someone show me how to do it <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll put a video together for you. Yes. <laughs> Number three. Or can I download the old course? <laughs> or or why isn't the old course on here? Are you kidding me? Why isn't the old course on is, here? Is why someone is working it, on the old course? It could be the TP. It, you, you could replace old course with, with TPC courses. Yes. You could, yes. But, you know, that was the, like, why is that missing? Or it, yeah. could, be, or, or it could be just someone's random home course. Where is, yes. where is where is Joe Blow's par nine? <laughs> yep. I mean, the one that, that I could have put on number eight, which I didn't, was like, and it's not going to be two or one, so I'm not giving anything away. It was like, you know, how much does it cost to get a course made? <laughs> you know. All right, number two. We're getting wow. there. I can't believe there's like, this is this is good because I I really feel like these are the best ones already. Okay, <laughs> right, here we go. I put some thought into it. Why do all the East Coast courses look the same? <laughs> well, because they're all on the East Coast. <laughs> they're all on the East Coast. They all look the same. I don't know. It's the same trees. It's the same grass. It's the same. Other than the terrain, guess what? It's the same. <laughs> it's the same East. <laughs> it's the same East. <laughs> okay. And the last one is a little bit of mixed feeling one, but it's true. Okay. Here Number we go. one, drum roll. There here we go. Is. <laughs> the starter golf removed? And yes, it and was. And yes, the answer was. I'm surprised. Yes, was no, so, so we had talked about that two weeks ago, and it was actually removed again today. Yes. Um, and I haven't seen any posts about it, even though it was removed today. So someone has. Have you seen anything today about it? I did, because I saw actually saw Ryan post in the GS Pro uh, okay. users. But not on Facebook saying, yet. Yeah, on Facebook. Oh, on Facebook. He posted, okay. he posted in the GS Pro users group officially saying it is down. I'm not redoing it yeah. before I start getting all the um, asks. And yeah, he's got 16 comments right now. So, yeah, it's, it is a shame. And um, all I have to say is, hey, when I did the breaking news last week, we were we were ahead, ahead of the game. Of game. Yeah. We had the inside yeah. scoop, right? Yeah. He tried yeah. to work around it. I said he was trying to work around it, and uh, they actually yeah. got another takedown notice today, which was um, um, I, I had a snippet of the takedown notice. I'm not at liberty to talk about what it said. It was a little snarky. Mm. Not surprised. It was um, some of the words they used were like, I actually felt like it was immature. <laughs> mm. and, and mm. it felt like i just want to take the lawyer and punch him in the throat <laughs> so well at some point you just take it down and say enough's enough yes yes i mean i yep. if, if, if him i would just be tired of it and yep yep 
But if anybody is watching, Target Golf is down. It was the number one request. It's always the number one request. Where's I'm, Target Golf? So wait a minute. What was the last? Vegas Golf was down. Vegas Tar- Golf. It was yeah. Target, Target Golf. Then it, it was Target Vegas Golf. Then it came Vegas Golf. And, and then, then now it's down. Yeah, yeah. now it's down. Yeah. yeah. But regardless of what it's called, Target Golf is still down. <laughs> yeah. So those are my top seven Facebook posts of the week so far. Well done, sir. Thank well you. done. Thank we'll you, have sir. To, we're going to have to brainstorm. I know it's still a ways away, but we get, we'll have to have some type of year end like thing. Like yeah. summarizing the year somehow or, or maybe like an Oscars, like course thing, like some, like the, you know, the nomination for best fictitious course or, Ooh, or like best, um, best course that looks like all the other courses. <laughs> <laughs> best best rookie designer rookie of the year oh we should look at doing some year-end kind of rewards like, i could totally um, do like a rookie some categories of the year, like someone who like came out this year and was like the best like new designer you know matter of fact what we should do we're just brainstorming the fly here is we should come up with our categories and we should enlist uh the academy so all the designers <laughs> and they can nominate yes for so that we're not picking i don't want to pick i want then i want to get the the our, our designer academy to then nominate we can from their do, own totally do like a google survey and let people like answer like a google survey and, yep. and nominate stuff yep and, and then we can we can we can have awards for the uh, various categories and do an end of the year show i like that yeah yeah like that's it. a good idea that could be a lot of fun okay. yeah yeah, and if we have guests come join us and stuff. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we have to rent out. We have to rent out the 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 was it the Nokia Theater or the Microsoft Theater in LA, and <laughs> we'll fill the stands with designers. The Discord the- Theater. <laughs> The Discord theater, yeah, we need to get her. We need Ben Q to come back. I mean, Robert, come back. Robert, where are where you? Are we you? need to do. I think get the Ben Q theater yeah, and do our Robert show got, there. I think Robert got fired. Oh, well. I hope not. I hope not. I don't he think... did disappear, though. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, he did kind of disappear on us. Um, I think he just doesn't like you. <laughs> a lot of people don't like me. It's not a surprise. Uh, there. Not a surprise. <laughs> not a surprise. It doesn't hurt my feelings either. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All right, my friend. All right. We're done. Um, heads up to everybody. We may not do a show next week. Our schedules oh, are not aligning I think well. It's 95% sure. Um, I'm going yep. on a golf trip starting Wednesday. Won't be back till late Sunday. And you're going to be gone and getting back when I'm leaving. So we just are Correct. completely on opposite schedules. So, so we, we will skip everything for the following week. Yeah, we'll skip next week, just like give you a notice now, and then we will queue it all up for the following week. We'll catch back up. Yeah, so, um, or you could just wait and don't release any courses until we get back. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) That'd be great. (laughs) I'm just saying, they'll be fresh. If you wait until next week, they'll be fresh in our minds rather than sitting there and getting all stale. Because when they get stale, they end up looking like all the other courses. Except I'm not going to look at it until the week after next anyway, so they'll still be fresh to me. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. See you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.